Why is London the most visited place on Earth? An intriguing question that begs for an in-depth exploration. As we delve into unraveling this enigma, we find ourselves immersed in a city that is a tapestry woven with rich history, diverse cultures, and timeless traditions. London, the largest city in Western Europe and one of the world's most vibrant capitals, has always been a beacon for travelers. Its popularity among tourists isn't merely a product of modern times. This city's allure stretches back to the Roman era, and it has since grown into a global metropolis, a hub of economic and cultural activity. The city's historical allure is undeniably magnetic, with each cobblestone echoing tales of the past, from the Great Fire of London in the 17th century to the world-changing events of the 20th century, history breathes life into every corner of this city. The Tower of London, Westminster Abbey and St Paul's Cathedral are just a few of the landmarks that stand as silent witnesses to London's storied past. But London's charm isn't confined to its history. It's a melting pot of cultures and traditions from around the globe. The city is a mosaic of communities, each contributing to the rich tapestry of London life. From the vibrant markets of Camden and Portobello Road, to the bustling streets of Chinatown and the vibrant rhythms of Brixton, London embodies a world in one city. The city's cultural pulse is palpable. From the hallowed halls of the British Museum, home to millions of works spanning over two million years of history, to the vibrant West End theatres, the city is a cultural powerhouse. And let's not forget about the city's love for sport, from the hallowed turf of Wembley to the sacred ground of Lords, the city's sporting heritage is deeply ingrained. From the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace to the iconic Big Ben, London's charm is undeniable. As we continue to explore this remarkable city, we can only wonder at the many more captivating facets that make London the most visited place on earth. Education forms the backbone of a society, and London boasts some of the world's most prestigious institutions. In the heart of this bustling metropolis, you'll find colleges and schools that have not only shaped the minds of thousands, but have also played a crucial role in shaping London's legacy. Take, for instance, the University of London. Established in the early 19th century, it has become a beacon of knowledge, attracting students from across the globe. Its constituent colleges, such as King's College and University College London, are renowned for their rigorous academic standards and their contribution to research and discovery. These institutions have produced countless leaders, thinkers and innovators, leaving an indelible mark on the world. Then there's Imperial College, a powerhouse in the fields of science, engineering, medicine and business. Its cutting-edge research and its commitment to innovation have earned it a reputation as a world leader in its fields. And let's not forget the London School of Economics, or LSE, a social sciences titan that has been shaping global policy for over a century. These institutions have given us Nobel laureates, prime ministers and pioneers in every field imaginable. But it's not just the universities that have shaped London's legacy. The city's schools, from primary to secondary, have an immense impact too. They are the breeding grounds for the next generation of leaders and thinkers. They instill in their students the values of hard work, integrity and ambition, preparing them for the challenges of the future. London's institutions also foster a sense of community, bringing together people from all walks of life, from all corners of the globe. They are microcosms of the city itself, reflecting London's diversity, its dynamism and its spirit of inclusivity. In conclusion, London's colleges and schools aren't just places of learning, they're institutions that have shaped the city's identity. They are the pillars that uphold London's legacy, contributing to its status as one of the most visited places on earth. They are a testament to the city's enduring commitment to education, to discovery, and to the pursuit of excellence. London's roads are not just passages, they are a canvas telling the city's tale. A tale woven in cobblestones and asphalt, narrated by the hum of traffic and the steady rhythm of pedestrian footsteps. They are the arteries of this grand city, pulsating with life and history. Let's embark on a journey down some of the most famous streets that shape London's unique character. First, we find ourselves on Oxford Street, a buzzing artery that pumps the lifeblood of commerce through London's heart. It's not just a shopping hub, it's a testament to London's ceaseless energy and diversity. The symphony of languages you'll hear as you walk is a gentle reminder of the city's global appeal. Next, we turn onto Regent Street, 
where architecture and elegance blend seamlessly. This is where London's heritage comes alive, with buildings that whisper tales of bygone eras. Regent Street is a grand boulevard, a testament to the city's enduring love for style and sophistication. And then there's Abbey Road, a name that resonates with music lovers worldwide. This unassuming street gained worldwide fame when the Beatles strolled across its zebra crossing. But it's not just about the Fab Four. Abbey Road is a symbol of London's pulsating music scene, a testament to the city's ability to inspire and create. London's roads are more than just thoroughfares. They are the city's biography etched in stone and asphalt, read by millions of feet and tires every day. They guide us through the city's past, hint at its future, and anchor us in its vibrant present. From the bustling crowds of Oxford Street, to the regal elegance of Regent Street, and the musical legacy of Abbey Road, these roads are more than just means to an end. They are the threads that weave together the rich tapestry of London. Every road in London has a story, lending the city its unique charm. So next time you're in London, remember, you're not just traveling on roads, you're journeying through stories. Beyond the hustle and bustle, London's natural beauty offers a tranquil escape. Amidst the city's iconic skyline, the verdant expanses of its parks, gardens and nature reserves beckon, offering a serene haven for locals and visitors alike. Hyde Park, one of London's eight royal parks, is a sprawling lush sanctuary in the heart of the city. It's not just a park, it's a verdant oasis where one can disconnect from the urban tempo and embrace the tranquility. From the gentle rustle of leaves to the leisurely drift of swans on the Serpentine Lake, Hyde Park is a testament to nature's enduring charm amidst the city's ceaseless rhythm. Now let's journey to the west of London, to the world-renowned Royal Botanic Gardens, Q. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a botanical wonderland, a living library of countless plant species from around the globe. The gardens are a riot of colours throughout the year, from the delicate blush of cherry blossoms in spring to the fiery hues of maples in autumn. It's a place where nature's artistry is on full display, a cornucopia of flora that enthralls and inspires. Yet the city's commitment to nature doesn't stop there. Venture to the London Wetland Centre, a unique urban oasis for wildlife. This reserve brings the countryside into the city, providing a sanctuary for numerous bird species, amphibians and insects. Amid the reed beds and lagoons, the chirping of birds and the whispering of the wind create a symphony of natural sounds, transporting you to a world far removed from the urban jungle. London's natural beauty is a testament to the city's commitment to preserving its green spaces amidst urbanization. It's a reminder that beneath the city's grandeur and history, the pulse of nature beats strongly, offering spaces of tranquility and wonder. So whenever you're in London, remember to step off the beaten path and lose yourself in these pockets of tranquility. They are the city's green heart, beating steadily amidst the urban symphony, summing it all up. Why is London the city that captivates hearts the world over? Ah, London. A city that is a microcosm of the world. A city that is not just a geographical location, but a feeling, an experience. What is it about this city that draws millions of visitors every year? It's more than just the buildings, the roads and the parks. It's the fusion of centuries-old traditions with the vibrancy of modern life. The legacy of London's colleges and schools is a testament to this. Institutions that have stood the test of time, nurturing minds, fostering creativity, and shaping future leaders. They are not just buildings of brick and stone, but pillars of knowledge and enlightenment. Then there's the artistry of London's roads. They're not just routes to a destination, they're journeys in themselves. Every road, every lane, every byway has a story to tell. From the bustling streets of Piccadilly to the quiet corners of Notting Hill, each thoroughfare is a canvas, painted with the hues of history and culture. London's breathtaking natural beauty is another aspect that captivates hearts. From the royal parks that are a haven of tranquility amidst the city's hustle and bustle, to the River Thames that flows gracefully, mirroring the city's resilience, London's nature is a soothing balm to the soul. But perhaps what truly captivates hearts is the spirit of London, the resilience of its people, the diversity of its culture, the richness of its history. It's a city that embraces change without forgetting its roots. It's a city that's always evolving, yet timeless. A city that's a world within itself. 
London is not just a city, it's a world within itself, a captivating blend of history, culture, education and natural beauty. No wonder it's the most visited place on earth. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such intriguing insights.